Okay, one more thing. Um, first of all, that's the view back there that I wanted to show you, and it's all washed out. But um, what I wanted to tell you is, um, at, most of us <laughs> are completely exhausted right now, right? Um, and so, when you see that I'm giving you a course called Love Even More. It might, you might just be going, I'm not even going to open that because I don't need more stuff to do. I'm wiped. Like, I love my people, whatever, but I don't need more stuff that I should be doing to show that I love them. Um, what I want you to know is that this course is actually almost mostly about loving yourself. And um, what I want you to know about that is... Uh, when I made this course, I haven't even watched all the videos in it yet. I'm going to go back and watch them because I'm probably going to repeat things that I've said. <laughs> um, when I made this course, I was so sick. I, I had a lot of you guys been with me for a long time. I had, I had this terrible, um, what they think was an autoimmune disorder where I had these horrible welts and all over my body. And I was in almost stage four adrenal exhaustion for a while. And, my body was just shutting down and and I and I was trying really really hard to figure out what I needed to do to get well and and it did keep coming back to learning how to love myself and take care of myself uh, what I've always done and I think a lot of it um, a lot of the things that happened to me when I was a little girl mixed with that um, experience that I just showed you guys that I had when I was in first grade about you know seeing people as souls and it made me really start dedicating my life to loving and helping other people. But what what it did to me also, and I said, um, like I said, mixed with a lot of the things that happened traumatically when I was a child, um, it made me sort of forget about myself. And um, so I, I was running myself into the ground and I was also losing myself in a lot of ways. You know, I was losing myself in, you know, maybe if I, if I make a bunch of money, maybe if I get famous, maybe, you know, maybe if I do this, I, I kept losing like who I actually am. And until I, um, until I ended up losing, uh, you know, ha having my life stripped down to nothing, having myself stripped down to nothing, I don't think I understood the power of loving yourself enough to do whatever it takes to stay alive loving yourself to do whatever it takes to stay on your own soul road. You know, in in my past life, it would have felt like selfishness. And, and selfishness is a great, you know, vice and a great, you know, character flaw and everything like that. Now, um, especially for the kinds of people that, that, you know, that are drawn to my work, very loving, empathic people, I don't think I don't think you have a risk of loving yourself or loving yourself too much. You know, love is such an, an a, a wrongly used word. Um, love is really just about putting the well-being ahead of any, anything else. That well-being, you know, not just you know pleasure and and things like that. Like not not just the temporary things, but doing what it takes to have long-term health in all ways, wholeness. Um, and sometimes that means um, doing what I've had to do, which has, you know, my worst fear, so backwards from everything I ever believed, to have to put myself first for a couple of years to save my own life, you know, Be before I, you know, two, three, four, five years ago, I, I, I didn't know I, I, if I was going to make it or not. I, I didn't want to make it. I, I was trying every day to decide, like, am I going to be able to to keep to keep living you know to have the will to live and now I um I finally learned I don't feel bad about loving myself enough to do what it takes um it's interesting to go back and read this course it's it's going to be interesting for me to go and watch the videos um of myself um I don't know how many years ago that was I, I'm, I'm thinking it was probably around 2013 or 2014 when I originally made this course and, and the video so that's nearly 10 years ago it's going to be interesting to see um how much of the same you know messages are coming back but when I looked through the curriculum that I made for you guys you know that I you know that I was like okay I'll I'll, I'll absorb this in for myself too but not any longer than the next round of deadlines and pushing myself to the edge of death 
um, would I would I do things like that? But over the last couple of years of just stepping away from my life to save my life, you know, it was a life or death situation. Um, I've learned that when I looked at this curriculum, oh my gosh, you know, this stuff that I wrote ten almost ten years ago to help all of you who I love so much is what ended up. You know, it, it's almost like my soul was writing me a prescription and just going, oh my gosh, you think this is for everybody else? <laughs> it's actually for you. Um, this is uh, what I've done the last ten, ten, uh, the last two, two or three years. I guess it's been three years. I just, um, this is my our new little rental house. We haven't lived in a house for three years, and um, it, you know, it's not a big house. It's a lovely house, and um, and it's got a beautiful yard. That's what I wanted to show you, and I'll and I'll show you later. And it's simple, and. Um, and it's just Mark and I. We were talking about that this morning. Like, we haven't really had a place that was just us, except when we were in our RV, but we were always in somebody else's yard. And so we are legitimately, after 32 years of marriage, having a place that where um, we are just becoming who we are, you know, having privacy and everything else. Um, okay, so I'm going to re just read these things to you. And what I want you to know... There would have been a time in my life where I would have felt really, um, it would have been really difficult for me to say, you know, I'm going to do these things for myself because I had a paradigm and a belief that it would be really selfish to, um, I would want you to do it, you know. I would definitely want my my daughters to do it. Um, but for me to say to you, you know, I'm going to do this, I would think, oh gosh, I've turned into this selfish diva. But I, But as I'm reading these to you, what I want you to know is that I it's everything I'm saying is the truth you know about how I actually feel I do love myself enough and it has saved my life and I want you I want you to save your own life you guys I want you to save your own life because I know what you'll do next is you'll go and you will um help everybody else but we are being pummeled right now with um things that are making us forget how to take care of ourselves and how to take care of each other and I am never going to quit till the day I die um, reminding us who we are, who you are, who I am, who we are together. And at this time, you know, you might have to step away, whether it's for 10 minutes a day or two hours a day or um, two years of your life or three years of your life to save your own life <laughs> for so that you can become, you know, the warrior that you want to be. That's part of being a warrior, you know. I stepped away to do, to, to, to breathe life back into myself, you know, I, I, the healthier I get, the more I realize, um, how much I was really on the brink of death, you know, my soul was half dead, and anyway, <laughs> I just, as I read these, I very proudly say I love myself enough, and I'm, I will never be ashamed to say that again. Okay, here's what I want you to know. This is the fourth time that I have made this video. And I have experienced, and I bet anybody else that's, you know, done a lot of stuff with technology and you're trying to tap into love and beautiful things that sometimes te technology <laughs> messes with you. And I find that the more important my message is, the more, the more I get messed with. So um, this is shot number four. And um, I'm going to do it one more time. So here we go. I love myself enough to go where I need to go to find peace. I love myself enough to have new dreams and let go of the old ones. I love myself enough to keep going no matter what. I love myself enough to let myself shine. I love myself enough to open my heart to the love and friendship that my soul so desires. I love myself enough to pray about my life, not just everyone else's life. I love myself enough to remember that there's always beauty after the storm. I love myself enough to say no when I wanna say no. I love myself enough to say no when I want to say no. I love myself enough to say what I mean and to mean what I say. I love myself enough 
to see my own beauty. I love myself enough to seek out a tribe who gets me. I love myself enough to sing my own song. I love myself enough to walk away when it's time to walk away. I love myself enough to ask for what I need. I love myself enough to be here now. I want to go back to the other one. I love myself to ask for what I need. I love myself to ask myself for what I need, not just everybody else. I love myself to ask myself for what I need and to ask my truth teller what I need for what I need and not to not wait around for somebody else to give it to me. All right. I love myself enough to be here now in this moment, in this time, in this day, in this year, in this life. Not to be in the past, not to be in the future, but to be right here, right now, and see all the gifts and all the beauty that are right in front of me right now. To not focus on the things that are scary that everybody else is trying to get me to look at. To look at what's beautiful and right here, right now, inside of me and around me. I love myself enough to be honest about my feelings and then to let myself feel them. I love myself enough to begin again and again and again and again and again. I love myself enough to believe in impossible things for my life. Things that people say aren't possible. Things that I didn't even think were possible. I love myself enough to believe in miracles when they happen for me and not think it was just a coincidence. I love myself enough to burn that list of imperfections. Just get rid of it. Work on the stuff that you want to work on, but burn the list of things that the world says are imperfect about you. About me. <laughs> I love myself enough to burn my list, the list of imperfections, the, things, the places where I think I'm imperfect. I love myself enough to choose being alone over being with others who hurt me hard but it's self-respect I love myself enough to choose what works best for my life even if others don't understand I love myself enough to create comfortable and beautiful spaces to rest and recharge I've done that it's wonderful I love myself enough to eat the best foods I can find on the prettiest plates I can find I love myself enough to find or create a warm place when life is bitter cold and it's killing you. I live in one of the warmest places in the country now, in the world. I love myself enough. I love myself enough <laughs> to forgive everyone for everything. What's really remarkable to me is that this is... Um, this is what I've been doing the last three years, you know. This, this is where life took me, you know. Life took me to the edge of the edge of the edge of the edge of um, what I could handle and what I wanted to handle. I, I, I didn't even want to be alive anymore. I was, I was hoping and waiting for something to take me so I didn't have to take my own life. But that, that's what my plan B was was to just take my own life. And, and I know some of you are probably there where I was because the world is brutal right now. I want you to know that until you decide that you are going to love yourself, um, things aren't going to change for you. And I want you, I want things to change for you if that's where they are and they can change. They can change. Um, I have, I've had the philosophy deep down internally inside of me that if I love hard enough and I love everybody enough and I, and I love and I love and I love and I give enough that I will always be okay. But I did it to, um, I gave away all my own blood and that's just in this life we have to keep our own blood, you know, it's, it's good and noble to give, but um, our, we have limitations and we have needs and I, and we also have to learn the discipline to stay in our own bodies and to stay in our own life. Um, I think that's a great lesson, um, that love is not complete until you love yourself, until you respect yourself, until you, um, 
until you understand what a gift you've been given and you take care of that gift. Even when you have a lot of other people you want to take care of, you have to love the gift that you were given, the gift of life, the gift of another day, the gift of this body, the gift of this experience, as brutal as it can be, you know? Um, that's That's been my greatest, most life-saving lesson is that I have to love this gift before I can truly be a loving person, you know? It, it's incomplete when you're just out loving everybody else, okay? That was so counter to what I thought, and it just about killed me, and I, and I know there are a lot of you that, that it's the same, and it feels really selfish when you have to start saying no to everybody and everything, and you have to let the parts of you that everybody loves the best um, go. It's, it's hard, it's brutal. But on the other side of that is, um, I, I can't even explain it, peace and integrity and um, stewardship, you know? You have to be a good steward over your own life and over your own energy and over your own talents and over your own love, you know? When you as long as it takes okay as long as it takes if it t- if it takes you if you're really good at this already and it only takes you another 10 or 15 minutes a day awesome please take that time for yourself don't you don't even have to take it why do we say take time when it's for yourself you have to claim your own time back um but if it's two weeks please claim that two weeks for yourself if it's two years claim that two years it's been three years for me where i've had to do things that were unthinkable for me. Put myself first. Unthinkable. Um, and I had the probably the first two thirds of that time. It, that's what I fought with the most is that I'm being so selfish. <laughs> but you know, when you're just about to die, that's the time to be selfish. Okay, because you have to take care of the gift. The gift is dying, and you have to take care of it. So. Um, please do that. Nobody's, nobody that loves you is going to think you're selfish. They're going to jump for joy that you're finally saving your own life. Okay. Um, love yourself enough. Okay. I love myself enough now and it's changed my life. I nobody. I don't care what anybody else thinks. The ones who love me the most, um, the ones who truly have, you know, have great love for me. They're so happy (laughs) that I've finally figured this out. You know, when I thought all my life that I would be rejected if I if I put myself on my list. I would be a selfish diva and, and people would think I was a bad person. And um, I, It's just such a fallacy. It's wrong. It's so wrong. So please take care of yourself. Please put, put yourself first on your list at, during this time because you're, you're going to have so much more to give if you do that. I'm grateful that I got to go through this 10 years of hell um, because I really feel like I'm on the other side of it. I spend at least three hours every day taking care of myself in the morning and, and then in the evening too. And I I will spend more <laughs> if I need to. And that's a real change for me. And nobody's going to tell me not to do that. I have to do it. Um, and I want that for you too. Because then I have the rest of the time to give the best of the best of the best that I've ever had and ever given. Because it's from a true place. It's not squeezing it out of places that have no business being squeezed. Squeezing places to death. Um, it's from a place of flowing abundance. Because um, because I'm nourished. I'm, I'm a plant that's sufficiently watered. So all the water that's flowing over, I can give to everybody else that needs it. So... I want that for you too. So I love you so much and I hope you take advantage of, um, I hope you claim this gift and you enjoy, enjoy working through it. I love you.